So I want to get this out of the way right at the very start since I don't really trust myself holding this all that much. Uh, but I want to show you the amazing statue I had commissioned by a really incredible artist. I'm going to leave a link to her down below. You may have seen me talk about her on a Reddit review. Um, but this is just amazing. Like, what a way to start the year. Um, but I'm going to put him down now and we're going to talk about Terraria Adventure Maps. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, a brand new year. Welcome to 2021. Uh, and with the new year actually comes a new Terraria update. So this is going to be Terraria's um, final, final, final update. It's only small. And it's going to add in Steam Workshop support. If you don't know what Steam Workshop support is, I spoke about it a lot over the past couple of videos. But basically, it allows you to download and share adventure maps and texture packs for the vanilla base game. Now, since making that video, I've had a lot of questions about recommendations for adventure maps. And I really want to take a look at one today, which has actually been in development now for over eight years. And it's called The Legend of Zelda, A Link to Terraria. Funny thing is, I've actually let's played it before, but it was a few years ago. And since then, they've updated it a lot and even brought it to 1.4 with Journey Mode, which is going to make it play so much smoother. So for this video, since I have Let's Played it in the past, we're only going to be checking out the first dungeon. But that way, if you've never seen it before or never played it, now you have a really solid recommendation. So here we are in Terraria. This is the adventure map. Now, like I mentioned at the start, we're playing with a journey mode character, which is really handy because it means we can do things like change the time or turn off enemies for a little bit if we're doing some story stuff. You can duplicate some of the gems that you get for the puzzles to make it a little bit easier. It's all really good stuff to have. That's why I'm glad that people like the people that make this map. Keep it all up to date. Like, it's so cool that we're playing uh, 1.4. Right, so these are the rules. We can skip past them. Let's get into the story. You awaken and find yourself laying down on the dock, the ocean tide rushing in below. You have no idea who you are and you know nothing of your surroundings. You see an old wooden chest in front of you. You hesitate to open it, but notice a faint glimmer coming from inside. You crack the chest open and out flies a theory. The theory explains that she was trapped and she's very grateful that you saved her. She also tells you there's a wooden sword in the chest for protection. At the hilt of the blade carved into the hard oak wood is the name Link. You may have heard of it. <laughs> The fairy says you may need her help and she'll help you through the dungeon ahead. So I know we said we'd play the first dungeon. This is probably going to be very quick. We'll play like the epilogue to the map. I want to get a good feel for it. So I actually don't remember any of this map. I played it about three, four years ago. And it's obviously like extremely different already. Like everything just looks new. It looks fresh. Um, you can tell it's had like a fresh lick of paint, which is always good to see. Uh, the cool thing is you can play this with a few different people as well if you want to play it in multiplayer. All right, here it is. The first dungeon. So cool. Ooh, that atmosphere. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll change the time. I'll make it a little bit darker. Um, Let's change it to dusk. There we go. All right, inside we go. Here it is. The first dungeon. God, I love The Legend of Zelda. I really love Zelda games. Like, in 2020, I probably beat about four of them. <laughs> okay. Right. One thing I do remember about this map is that cobwebs are out to get you. So there's going to be cobwebs with every jump. I always just remember that. The fact that you have to kind of clear out some of the cobwebs as you jump. Just to stay alive. All right. Now, jumping puzzles are, are not my strong point. I tell you what, I already love that you can see the 1.4 improvements just there. How the, the banner sways. That is neat. Okay, let's see the first puzzle. Bam. Alright, okay. So there's an area opened up to the right. I really do not remember any of this, by the way. Okay. So we need to figure out what switch to flick. Now, I'm assuming that it's probably the ones with the torches. Is that right? Oh, it is right. Okay, I was going to say, it's either the one with or without. Oh, God, Christ. <laughs> Still fell, don't worry about me. Let's hit that one here. All right, I think we did it. So I'm assuming we go back to the left. Yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> we did it. 
Na 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 na! Amazing! I would actually put some Zelda music in here, but I'm so afraid of Nintendo. Nintendo slapping down the banhammer. It's not allowed. <laughs> this is non-canonical. Terraria does not take place in uh, in Hyrule. <laughs> I wish. For those that don't know, by the way, this is like a pretty interesting fact. Um, the game's director for Breath of the Wild actually said that he was directly inspired by Terraria when making the game, and it had a positive influence on the game's development, which is really cool. Like, what a cool little fact to know. So we got some mana potions, all right. No mana bar, that's understandable. I guess we start off with one now. Kind of the perks of a modern update, right? When this map was made, this map was made eight years ago. You didn't start off with mana, or at least I don't think you did. I don't know, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to remember. It's kind of like the, the legend's long forgotten. You know, The Legend of Zelda is almost The Legend of Terraria. It's a very old game at this point. All right, what's over here? Ooh, all right, we found a secret. That looks like a secret in itself. I'm assuming that that's probably a secret area. We got an anklet, thank you very much. God, these shadow paint is it's, it's very good, but very annoying, do you know what I mean? It's hard to figure out the path. Okay, all right, I think we go down. I think we're working our way to this, um, to this, uh, Triforce. A chorus of voices start speaking. We are the seven sages of the land called Terraria. It is no accident that you have, uh, run into us. This land has been overrun with evil. And legend speaks of a young man that will bring about peace to the world. Take the hero's clothes from the chest and seek out the seven sacred jewels. Your journey starts in Mundus Village to the east. Past the Elder's Temple. Alright. Past the Elder's Temple. That's where we need to go. Yeah, look at this. This is definitely a little bit of bonus content. Alright. Uh, so here it is. The hero's outfit. I tell you what. I'm not going to wear the hero's hat. Because I kind of don't like how Link looks. I won't lie. This is how he looks. There's something about it I just don't like. I think it's because Breath of the Wild kind of changed the way Link looked. And when I see, like, the classic outfit, like, the Wind Waker style or the Ocarina style, I just, like, I don't know. I like I like just having my own hair. This is like Link, but he's 80 years old. <laughs> this is really old. He's aged a fair bit. You know, he's been on a lot of adventures. All right, so we need to head to Mundus Village then. Oh, there's a jumping puzzle. All right. <laughs> I've already messed it up. So I'm assuming that this here as well is, is probably going to be bonus content at some point. That's a cool thing about a lot of adventure maps. They have a lot of, like, backtracking if you want to do it. If you've never tried an adventure map before, I'm really trying to sell you on one. They're so good. Okay, let's flick that. Okay, so this opens up this pathway. What's this? After you pulled this lever, you heard a sound below, like a passage opening. All right. Well, there's my bonus content. Let's go see it. Let's go down here. I really do. Yeah, it is here. All right, that's cool. Okay, so what's it going to be? I hope it's not like a big maze back to the water. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a mana crystal. All right. Thank you very much, Terraria. This is good. You are finally out of there and stand before a dense forest. Mundus Village should be through the forest ahead, but as dense and as dark as it is, the forest has a welcoming feel to it. Okay, now I want to turn on the lights for this. Not only because they're zombies, but because the most iconic part about this map, and you may have seen like... A lot of images about this it's, it's such an iconic look is this map uses overlapping trees which is a really hard effect to pull off and looks amazing thanks to the wind yeah this is the part i'll always remember like the foresty town is so good in this map oh it even uses like graveyard biome now okay a wise voice speaks telepathically young warrior you are here for a reason the land of hyrule needs your help Take this enchanted boomerang as a token of the Elder's gratitude. Keep heading east to Mundus Village. Seek out the mayor and tell him the hero has returned. So before we go and talk to the mayor, I want to give a quick shout out to today's channel sponsor, Raycon. So yeah, today's video is once again proudly sponsored by the great people over at Raycon. If you've never heard me talk about Raycon before, Raycon are actually doing something very cool. They've been disrupting the electronics industry recently by designing premium wireless audio that costs half the price without any compromise. 
Raycon do things differently from other people out there from the way they design their products to the way they price them with customer experience at their core from start to finish. So these are the everyday E25s. These are the true wireless earbuds I've been using for over half a year now. They come in a bunch of different colors and patterns. I actually have mine in white, as you can see. And what's great about them is they don't have any wires or stems to get in the way, which has been perfect for me because it's January 2021. And like a lot of people around this time, I'm trying to get into a better routine. So having true wireless earbuds is really good for me. Like when I'm out on a jog, I can put them in. It blocks the world out and I feel very focused because I'm not constantly worried about like wires getting in the way when I'm trying to you know, swing my arms and such. So Raycon was founded by Ray J and they're loved by celebrities like Mike Tyson and Snoop Dogg. And it's very easy to understand why. These everyday E25s actually have six hours of playtime and a 45 day return policy. They've got seamless Bluetooth pairing, a lot of bass, a great fit, and also a really good sound. So these are just great for everyday wear or if you wanna pick up a new hobby like me, and try and make a better routine in 2021. So if you'd like to pick up a pair of Raycon Everyday E25s and bring a little premium audio to your life, all you gotta do is go to buyraycon.com slash chipping, and that way you'll save 15% on a pair of these. I'll leave that link at the top of the description and just know that by checking them out, you're also supporting the channel. Thank you once again to Raycon for supporting the channel. It's really cool of you to do that. Thank you so much. But with that out of the way, let's get back to the Terraria adventure. Go forth, Link, and bring back peace to this land. I can do that. Where is the sword? So far, it's just copper and arrows. <laughs> I'll take the arrows. Thank you. You're meant to take the money because you can actually buy stuff with it, but I'm, I'm not really too bothered. I don't know if I'm committed to a whole playthrough today. I just want to get a feel for it. But uh, I imagine that once Steam Workshop comes out, this map is going to be so popular. This will be one of the number one, without a doubt. That and anything by Chaos. Let me try and get that bird. <laughs> Let me get it. Way there we go. All right. Okay, so I got uh, an Emerald Staff. That's cool. That's why we have mana. God, this map just looks incredible. Like, don't you feel the vibe? Like, after a little while, you're like, is this even Terraria anymore? So good. Uh, Hyrule Castle Westgate. East is Mundus Village. Okay. Uh, do I need to go to the top? I think I do. Man. Automatic doors. What a god saint. Uh, saint sent. I don't know what the phrase is. God sent? God saint? Welcome to Mundus Village. Look for skybeds throughout your journey to save your location. Uh, you can always save your location when you find a new skybed. Turn on the lights there and save your location for the first time. And you have chests and armor to store old weapons and armor. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, I love it. You can pet the dog in 1.4. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. All right, let's turn on the lights then. Um, and set our spawn point. Bam. Okay, good. You can also sleep in a bed now, which is really cool. All right, let's check this out. So this is the merchant's home. All right, there's nothing here. But just look at the atmosphere. Look at it. It's really good, right? <laughs> this map is iconic. Milk bar. We can have some milk. It's Lon Lon Ranch. Let me get out a, a, a jug. The Mayor's Vault. Come here after you clear a dungeon for some more upgrades. Okay, we'll come back later. Uh, we don't really need to come here. What's this? The Mayor's Home. All right. You. You are wearing the clothes of the Hero of Legend. You say the Seven Sages sent you here? Then it must be true. The Hero has returned. My name is Dotor, and I'm the Mayor of Mondas Village. You say you don't know where you're at? Well, this is the land of Hyrule, and you are in Mundus Village. All right. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Heard it twice. Hyrule Castle is just to the east. I have some arrows you can take from the barrels downstairs. They'll do me no good, as I do not have a bow for them. Maybe you'll find a bow out there somewhere. Uh, thank the goddess Hylia that you showed up. I can't believe the legendary hero is back to save us. You must first visit the king. He'll really want to meet you. Okay, cool. I'm going to grab these arrows, and the second I see Ganon, I'm going to put one between his eyes, all right? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Link's a bit of a savage, but it's okay. All right, 600. All right, so these are for the, uh, like, four other players. I'm going to be a good lad and, and not take them and not cheat. <laughs> Even though I kind of want to. What's this? 
Town well. You hear something deep below. How strange. Ooh. Uh, Impa's house. Look at Impa's house. And another another cat to stroke. This one's actually called Link. Legit. <laughs> this is Linkle. This is cool. It's his fursona. Uh, Tubert's house. All right. Let's skip past that. Uh, Nilbom's house. Okay. Nilbom is a... Strangely looks like me. Strangely looks like a, a clothy ear. Is that what you are? Yeah, he's called Nilbom. All right. Uh, happy mask salesman shop. Oh, that's cool. I'll take a little enchantment. Oh, it's a bunny called Sheika. That's cool. So I'm imagining that they've given it a custom name. I don't think Sheika is a potential name. Uh, Dampe's house. All right. If there's any graves around here, we'll get them dug. If you've never played The Legend of Zelda before, don't worry about it. All right, let's go find the king's quarters. Uh, Hyrule Castle, above the royal quarters and below the royal forge. You better head up and visit the king right away. All right, cool. You look like the adventurous type. Thank heavens you have arrived. A wizard named Aganim has taken Princess Zelda. You must find her and save her, but first the town will need to be looked at, for I fear a nasty spell has taken over. The citizens need fresh water quickly. Go downstairs to the blacksmith. There's a switch to unlock the well down there. Hurry, Zelda needs you. Okay, right. I actually need a drink myself. <laughs> Ooh, I love how the, the mayor, or the, the king, sorry, looks like Yurimiya. That makes me so happy. God, there's a lot of rooms around here. <laughs> I kind of just want to, I just kind of want to look around. The royal library is full of neatly arranged books and bookshelves. The repeating pattern, all, almost mesmerizing. You see a note on the wall behind the sign. It says, if anybody finds the crimson key, a locked chest below this tower could use it. Just flip the switch in the royal wizard's tower to access the crimson chest. All right, cool. We're finding secrets. God, it looks so good. I Honestly, I can't get over it. With all the new textures and everything 1.4 introduces, it's amazing. And obviously with texture pack support, we have a future where the creator could have the map and the texture pack that's bundled into one. You download it, it's seamless. All right, this is the Royal Blacksmith, Zeus. Uh, come back here later. All right, uh, Town Well. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's flip that. Is there anything in here to steal? A little updated item from 1.3.4. Very cool, very cool. I just love that this has been a labor of love for eight years. It's a very long time to, to support anything. Like it's almost been around as long as Terraria. Would you believe it? Like that is insane. So we're off to the well. All right, here it is. Down we go. <laughs> I was going to say, I really hope this water or we're, uh, we're having broken kneecaps. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. All right. Uh, you immediately understand what the king was talking about. The stench of these slimy creatures is overwhelming. It looks like they're being summoned here. But who could do such a terrible thing? I think I know who did this. <laughs> and I think he has a crown of his own. <laughs> That's it. The king can't compete with another king. God, look at this place. Wow. Honestly, like, it's coming back to me a little bit. Like, I see this and I'm just like, I feel like there's a puzzle where you have to use flippers or something to maneuver around. But it looks so much better now that 1.4 is out and everything just looks fresh. Tell you what, the wizard staff is is the way forward. All right, I think what I need to do is get to the, uh, to the other side. Let's see. Oomph, let's go. So it's quite funny. This area looks dead simple, but you have to take a special route. You have to go like this, down, up, and then around. Because <laughs> I was looking at it for a little while, like, where do I go? Because I got to here, and I was just like, uh, I want this switch, please. All right, let's 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 head over. Which row do we take? All right, we got duped. <laughs> it's the wrong one. It's the middle one. We've been fooled, tricked, and deceived. Okay, I'm trying to see. If you're wondering why I'm squinting so hard, by the way, the lights that I have are very bright and I'm meant to be wearing glasses. <laughs> so it's a bad combination all around. All right, where to go now? Oh, we go up and around. Okay. So they're getting the water temple out of the way nice and early. Everybody's least favorite temple. <laughs> they're just like, yeah, we'll just bang that one at the start. All right, which one to do? Should we just do all of them? All right, we've done all of them, but which way leads to the right one? Oh, it's this bottom one. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's the middle one. No? I think I might have messed this up, actually. Oh, I've got it now. You have to come along, come down, 
and then you get to go. All right. <laughs> this would be way better with glasses, let me tell you. All right, I'm just going to run. <laughs> I saw the dart traps. I was scared. Oh, oh, it's the dart traps doing it. That's really cool. All right, which way do we go? I think we go down and then around. Oh, my God. Let me in dart traps. <laughs> Here we go. This is really nifty. I like that. So I don't remember any of this now. Like I, I, I've completely remembered this wrong. The thing is, I've played so many adventure maps in my time. Like, I kind of do blend a lot of them together, to be honest. All right, let's flick this one. Uh, let's flick this one. Let's flick this one. <laughs> I'm probably going to die, honestly. <laughs> I don't know how I'm meant to survive. Oh, you meant to jump up at the right time. Where's the arrows coming from? Oh, God, Christ. I thought I'd avoided it then. <laughs> Oh my god. I think I just like proper shambled my way through that. There was absolutely no grace with that at all. I like that the water makes it way more difficult as well with the slimes. Okay. Hello. I am the sage tasked with looking over Mundus Village. I haven't been able to put an end to the slimes yet, but you thin them out enough for me to stop the spell that Ganondorf uh, has cast to summon them here. Who's Ganondorf, you ask? I'm so sorry. I've said too much already. If you really are the legendary hero, you'll need to seek out the sage in the Sky Temple to the east of the Hyrule Castle. Collect the large amethyst from this chest. You'll still have six more gems to collect. The mayor of Mundus Village will surely have something for you inside of his vault. Research the large amethyst for safekeeping. Use the magic mirror to teleport back to Mundus Village and seek the mayor's vault. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, so let me take all this. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll take that as well. Uh, let me reforge this, or let me um, let me research it. I haven't actually played Journey Mode in a really long time. Um, so there you go. I can duplicate now. So if I drop it, I've got another one. Is that it? Is that everything we needed? We're out of here. Right. So let's go and uh, open up the uh, the vault here. I'm trying to think. Oh, the vault is over here. I was like, where, where is it? <laughs> I can't. I played this map for like 10 minutes and I don't remember. All right, let's go open this up. And then I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll end it there. Um, you know, this is just meant to be like a, a quick look, a little like refresher on this map. I think I probably will come back and, and finish the rest of this. So if you do want to see that, do let me know with a, a comment and maybe a, a thumbs up. That would help a lot. So if you do want to download this map, I'll leave a link to it down below. It's one of the most adventurous and creative adventure maps we've ever had in the Terraria community. Thank you once again to Raycon for sponsoring yet another video here on the channel. But for me today, that is it. Hopefully you all have a great 2021. I can't wait to see what we do on the channel here this year. I've got a lot of plans in the oven. Uh, but for now, that is it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.